Welcome to our tutorial on the Whole Assembly feature. First, let's select View, Toolbars, and activate the Assembly Features toolbar. Let's undock it now. Here is the Whole feature. We're going to Control select these two edges, and then we'll activate the Whole tool. Now, let's click on this face. The Assembly Features Definition window as well as the Hole Definition window open. We can position the center of this hole. Let's enter a value of, let's say, 7 millimeters. Tab and OK. Let's double click on this dimension and enter 7 millimeters here also. Tab OK. Here is our whole definition window. This is the same definition window we explored in our tutorial on the whole feature in a previous tutorial in this course. On the extension tab, select up to last for the end condition. Let's enter a value for the diameter of our hole, let's say 5 millimeters, tab. Now let's move over to the window on our left, the Assembly Features Definition window. In the Affected Parts list, Part 6 is currently displayed. That's this part right here. Let's take a minute to talk about our intentions here. What we want to have happen is for our hole to go through this plate and this plate. This plate is Part 1. Let's select the plate from the Parts Possibly Affected list. The plate is highlighted in our workspace. Now we click on the down arrow to add it to the Affected Parts list. Let's check Highlight Affected Parts for easier viewing in the workspace. Then they remain selected even when you're not mousing over them. Now we only want these two parts to be affected by this feature. However, you may notice that we're not able to click OK or Cancel at this time. That's because I need to finish up in the whole definition window first. Click OK there, and both windows close. Here we have a hole that goes through both of our parts. In the specification tree, we can find our new hole under Assembly Features. Our hole goes through Part 1 and Part 6 and that's indicated here. If I extend the specification tree under Part 6, let's expand the Part Body branch as well. I also see my new hole feature. Same thing, I can also see it in Part 1 under the Part Body branch. OK, Part 1 is red and our update icon is active. Let's click it for an updated view. And here is our finished hole. And this concludes our tutorial on the whole assembly feature.